Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Please say hi hi to each other in the comment section. I mean in the live chat so that I can check that everyone's coming in. I have my laptop right beside me so I can see your comments. Hi guys, come in, please come in. I'm gonna wait for about one or two minutes till everybody comes in. Hello. Okay, I can see everybody coming in now. Hello, Mochichu. Hello, Math Cordy, Park Jimin, Surya. Everyone, hello. Hello, welcome in. Thank you for joining. Hello, Flight Deck Magazine. Hello, everyone. Okay, so everybody's coming in. So I'm going to start in about 10, 20 seconds. Let's wait a bit more. Thank you guys for joining. Wow. 한국은 늦지 않았나요? Yes, yes, it's midnight here. Um, but I decided to do a live class now because I was actually planning to do it tomorrow evening. But then something came up, so I had to change the plan. So that's why, um, yeah, even if it's a bit late, I am doing a live class and I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Another live class with you guys. Okay, so I guess pretty much everyone who could join, who can join, came in. So let's start the lesson. So today we are going to learn about the sentence connectors and conjunction. Uh, so we're going to learn the one, two, three, four. Uh, we're going to learn four conjunctions, I mean four sentence connectors and conjunctions specifically. But before we uh, actually start the lesson, I want to clarify what are the sentence connectors and conjunction because it seems they are interchangeably used. Actually, sentence connectors and conjunction is not you know, the entirely same thing. So sentence connectors are words that can be used individually, you know, like an English word, there could be and, but, so, and so on, right? Uh, so these are the words that connect to sentences, right? But conjunction is a word that is um, attached after a verb. So conjung means like it is joined with another thing, right? Conjunction. So that's why it's called conjunctions. And sentence connectors can turn into conjunction by getting attached with the verb in the previous sentence. So while getting attached, the sentence connectors change its form and each co sentence connector follows a different rule. So we're going to learn about that today. And that's what sentence connectors and a conjunction is. And we're gonna learn. So these are the sentence connectors that we're gonna learn today. 그리고, which is commonly known as and, but it can also mean then. And we're gonna learn uh, more uh, in depth about it soon. And we're also going to learn the sentence connectors that mean but. And there are, you know, there are quite many sentence connectors that mean but. In English, it's pretty much just one, but or however, right? But in Korean, there are many buts. And we're going to learn how to use them in sentences and how to make them in a conjunction. So, well, what, was I, what was I about to do first? Sentence connector. Oh, oh, right, right. Oh, I was going to demonstrate uh, so that you guys can get, you know, get a gist of it. So I told you guys that the sentence connectors here, 그리고, 
하지만 그렇지만 그런데 근데 can turn into a conjunction, right? By getting attached with the verb that comes in the first sentence. So, so guys, this is just a demonstration. We're going to learn about the specific rule that each, uh, each sentence connector follows. This is just a demonstration. So, 한국인이에요 can become 한국인이고. So, you can just delete this all and say 저는 한국인이고. 제프는 미국인이에요. And 저는 한국어를 잘 하지만 or 그렇지만 they, they both follow the same rule. That's why I put, it, put them in the same group and put these two in the same group because they follow the same conjunction rule and they mean the same thing. 잘 하지만 제프는 한국어가 서툴러요. And here it can change to what? So when a sentence connector, I mean when a sentence connector turns into a conjunction, two sentences, two sen what was originally two sentences become one sentence, right? So uh, that's way more efficient when making a sentence, you know, much shorter and takes less time. So conjunctions are very useful in that way. Um, however, one thing you guys can note is not to kind of overuse it so for example if you make um every single sentence connector in your article or in your speech a conjunction that way your sentence will never seem to end right and it will be it will kind of sound like long rounded so uh, you can use them in moderation but it's really helpful and useful to use in your sentence okay so now let's specifically learn how to use each um, each sentence connector here, and we're gonna start off with the easiest one. I would say 그리고, 그리고. And here, this is the kind of a review note or lecture note that I made, which I'm gonna give out to you guys in the community post. Uh, so we're gonna start off with 그리고, and first let's look at the first case when it means and. Okay. So, 그리고. Mm. So here, uh, before moving on to the sentence connector 그리고, let's look at some other functions that 그리고 does. So it also functions as a noun connector, first of all, noun connector. So we learned another noun connector, or more like a particle that corresponds to and in English, which is 와. 랑 and 하고, right? So when you say 저는 영어와 한국어를 공부해요, it means English. And by putting 와 after a noun, you connect two nouns, right? And same with 랑 and 하고. So we learned that 와, 랑, 하고 are the main uh, noun connectors. However, you can also use 그리고. 그리고. So although they are the most commonly used ones, um, it's not wrong to say 영어 그리고 한국어를 공부해요. 사과 그리고 바나나를 좋아해요. 엄마 그리고 아빠가 좋아요. You can say it like that. English and Korean, apple and banana, mom and dad. What you can also do is... You can use it when you kind of list the nouns. So, 영어, 한국어, 그리고 러시아어. 러시아어, you can guess that it means Russian. Russian. So, when you kind of list the nouns, that's when it's most commonly used. 그리고. So, yes, 그리고 can be used as a noun connector, first of all. And it can also serve as a verb connector. But um, verb connectors also can turn into a conjunction, just like sentence connector. So these two basically follow the same rule, so you don't have to be so confused about it. Um, so what I mean by verb connector is when there is more than one verbs, right? When there is more than one verbs that you do at the same time or that you list, 
you can use 그리고 and make it in a conjunction. So here, babies cry and laugh, right? So it has two verbs, cry and laugh. And what you can do here is, let's try making sentences together. So, baby, do you guys know what baby is in Korean? Okay, so I haven't been checking the live chat because I was too focused on doing the lecture because I'm so, that's what I do when I'm nervous. Um, but right now I'm, uh, I think I'm good to check the comment section. So, babies, baby is agi. Agi. And by putting to, you make it in plural, right? And you put sentence connector. Agi didn't. And do you know what cry and laugh is in Korean? Ulda, 그리고 웃다. Right? And they are in present verb, so you have to conjugate these two in present verb. But also, you can connect it by using 그리고, but not just 그리고, by making it in a conjunction, by combining it with the first verb. So what you can do is you can take the stem verb, the base verb. So here I wrote out the rules here. When you want to make 그리고 in conjunction, if it's in present tense, you can put base stem and just put 고. So 고 is the letter, the last letter in 그리고. That's why 고 is used. So by putting it after a verb, it connects the two verbs. So you can say 아기들은 울고, 아기들은 울고 웃어요. 아기들은 울고 웃어요. And for all the time, it's an adverb, right? So it should be placed somewhere before the verb, like we learned. And all the time is 항상. So you can say 아기들은 항상 울고 웃어요. So here, conjunction is used. And every day I work out and drink coffee. So here you can see that two verbs are connected with a sentence connector. And in Korean, you can make the sentence connector in conjunction by combining it with the first verb. So to work out means we're not going to translate the whole sentence this time, but we're just going to uh, practice how to make conjunction by attaching it after a verb. So work out, do you guys know what work out is? Work out. 운동, to exercise. 운동하다, right? Every day I, so you have to put the base stem, not the present stem. So 운동하고 and drink is 마시다, but combine it, I mean conjugate it in present form, it becomes 마셔요. 운동하고 마셔요. Oh, I forgot to put the object, right? 커피를. You can also say it like this. 저는 매일 운동하고 커피를 마셔요. And our last sentence for the verb connector. May, many people like and hate their job. Many people like and hate their job. So many people, we learn that many, if it's a modifying Adjective, it becomes 많은, right? And people, you write the person noun first. It becomes person, so people. Many people, their job. So the object should come first, right? 직업을. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put the subject marking particle. 많은 사람들은. Oh, so... It's their job, right? So there is one word that I would like you guys to know, and that is 자신. 자신. So 자신 means um, yourself. Yourself. One, uh, not necessarily yourself, but oneself in general. So it talks about, so this 자 comes from Chinese character 子. So this means self. So when you say their job, as in their self's job, you can use this um, noun. It's a very useful noun that you can use. So 많은 사람들은 자신의, 자신의, 자신, in possessive particle, uh, oneself's 직업을. And this one's easy, right? 
좋아하고 싫어해요. 좋아하고 싫어해요. What you can also do when you say they both do this and this, you can put 또. So 좋아하고 또 싫어해요. Uh, by putting 또 uh, between verbs, you kind of emphasize that they do both. So they both like and hate their job. So this is how you can make sentences like this. And so that's how a verb connector, uh, that's how 그리고 can be a verb connector. And that pretty much goes the same with the sentence connector because you, it's the same in that the sentence connector get attached to the verb. So we're gonna practice um, the uh, practicing. We're gonna practice. I'm sorry, guys. What's wrong with me? <laughs> we're gonna practice how to make these sentences by using Korean conjunction. And here I listed the rule. So for 그리고, if it's in present tense, you can just put place base stem and put 고 like we learned. We, we just learned with the verb connector, right? And for past tense, you put past stem. And future tense, you put future stem. And, and just put 고. So this one is not easy. 그리고 is the easiest one to make conjunctions with. So this is coffee. This 이거, right? 이거. And if you say 이거는, it's, you can just say 이건 to mean this is 이거 and then so subject marking particle, but it's kind of abbreviated in 이건. So this is 이건, copy. And what is the verb that corresponds to is? It's 이다, right? Copy 이다. And when you conjugate it in present tense, if it doesn't have 받친, you say 커피 에요, right? And then you put the sentence marking, I mean sentence connector. 이건 커피에요. 그리고 저건, the one that I see over there, that, 저건, that is 차에요. So I just told you guys that 이건 means this is, but it's more like 이거 plus 는 abbreviated. 이거 plus subject marking particle abbreviated. So that's not that was not an entirely correct way to say it, but an is is this verb. Okay, so 이건 커피예요, 그리고 저건 차예요. And what you can do is you can make the sentence connector into a conjunction by combining it with the verb here. So what happens is you can say 이건 copy base verb, right? You have to bring the base verb and say 커피 이고 copy 이고 just like we learned here base stem and then 고 right? 이건 copy 이고 저건 차예요 이건 copy 이고 저건 차예요 and there is one more thing I want to tell you guys, just in case some of you are confused. So when it when it's uh, 이고, then if the noun preceding noun doesn't have 받친, you can also just say 고. So if it if the preceding noun has doesn't have 받침, either 고 or 이고 is uh, is okay. But if the preceding noun has 받침 you should always just say 이고, not 고. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna practice more sentences and hopefully you get it um, when we practice with more sentences. So anyways, here it's 커피 이고, 저건 차예요. And if you do it in the opposite way, you can say, let's switch, switch the order of the sentence. You can say 저건 차 이고, or just 차, 고, 저건 차고, 이건 커피예요. So this is how you can make it in conjunction. Uh, are you guys getting it? 이건 커피이고, 저건 차예요. Okay, so some of you seem to be a bit confused, um, but I brought uh, many more sentences, so hopefully 
hopefully as we practice more, you can uh, slowly get it. Because uh, I promise it's really not that hard. It's really not that difficult. You just follow the rule here. And that's basically, that's basically it. <laughs> so please don't worry too much. And I watch a movie and my brother read, reads a book. I think by now you probably can already expect to uh, combine and with the verb watch by making it in conjunction, right? I watch a movie. 저는 영화 영화를 보 watch means I mean to watch is 보다, right? So you put the stem of the base verb and then put 고, right? 저는 영화를 보고 and so, so far we finished translating this whole part, right? 저는 영화를 보고 We didn't have to write the whole 그리고 We just have to say 저는 영화를 보고 Very simple, right? So that's what conjunction does It makes your sentence a lot shorter 저는 영화를 보고 My brother, let's say my brother is an older brother Do you know the word for older brother? 오빠, right? 오빠 so I think oppa is kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of an exaggerated wor word worldwide. So oppa doesn't mean, you know, a, a guy that you love. <laughs> it, it means its original meaning is one's older brother. So um, a lot of people seem to kind of misunderstand this word. Uh, but it, it means an older brother or a male friend who's older than you. <laughs> it's, a friendly way, it's a friendly way to call uh a guy who's older than you. So, 저는 영화를 보고 오빠는 책을 읽어요. 오빠는 책을 읽어요. Or if you want to switch the order of the sentence, you can say 오빠는 책을 읽고, right? To read is 읽다 in base verb, right? So you just bring the stem and put 고. It's easy, right? It's not that hard. So I'm going to be careful with using the word easy <laughs> because I think that kind of puts a lot more pressure on some of you guys. So I'll just say it's not that difficult, right? It's not impossible, right? <laughs> okay, and next one. The students listen to music and the teachers dance. So the students, do you know how to say the students? 학생 means student, and by putting 들, it becomes plural. 학생들은 listen to music. So music comes first because it's an object. 음악을 Do you know what listen is? It's 듣다, right? 듣다. So if you just conjugate it in present tense, it becomes 학생들은 음악을 들어요. 그리고, right? However, if you want to make a sentence connector in conjunction, what you can do is just leave 고 and 들 should go as well, right? Because the stem of the base verb is not 들, it's 듣, right? So, 저는 학생들은 음악을 듣고, 학생들은 음악을 듣고, and the teachers dance. 선생님들, 선생님들은 So to dance is 춤추다, 춤추다 Or you can split 춤 and 추다 and say 춤을 추다 So 춤 is a noun that means dance so, 춤을 추다 means literally to dance a dance. However, we just don't use 추다 alone. We always say 춤 when we say dance as in verb. So, 춤을 추다. So, 선생님들은 춤을 추다, present verb, becomes 추어, 추어, but we combine it and say 춰. 선생님들은 춤을 춰요. 학생들은 음악을 듣고 선생님들은 춤을 춰요. Or if you want to switch the order, you can say 
추고, right? 춤을 추고, because it has to follow the bass stem. 춤을 추고, 학생들은 음악을 들어요, right? And I brought, this is the same sentence, but you can notice that it's slightly different in that it's tense, it's present, but more of present progressive, right? So I hope you remember how to form a present progressive verb. So the subject is the same, 학생들은. Let's go with the object first. 음악을. How do you form a present progressive? You put the stem, right? 듣고 있어요. 그리고 And then the next sentence. In this case, in this case, 있어요 is a verb, right? We learned that 있어요 is a verb. It's treated like a verb wherever it is. Whether it's in an adjective, whether it's in a present progressive form, 있어요 is always treated like a verb. That means 있어요 can be combined with the sentence connector to make the sentence connector in conjunction. So this is the same. 있어요 comes from 있다, right? 있다. It is the base form. I mean the stem, the, the base stem, right? So you just take it and remove the rest and say ko. 학생들은 음악을 듣고 있고 학생들은 음악을 듣고 있고 학생들은 음악을 듣고 있고 and the rest of the sentence. 선생님들은 춤을 추고 있어요. 선생님들은 let's just write it quick. 선생님들은 춤을 추고 있어요. This is how you translate the sentence. It's really not that difficult, right? Right, guys? <laughs> okay, let's check the comment section if, to check if everyone's following. Oh, Elisa's here. Hi, Elisa. I just saw you. Oh, welcome, welcome. I really missed you. <laughs> and I miss everyone as well. I'm not picking favorite guys. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys understand me, right? You guys know what I mean. Okay, so that's how you can uh, make a sentence connector in conjunction when it's attached after a present tense, right? And so if it, uh, if, oh, sorry. If a conjunction, sorry, if a conjunction get, can get attached to a verb, that means conjunction can also get attached to an adjective, right? Because I told you guys 100 times that verb and ad adjectives are treated pretty much the same, right? So it follows the same rule when it's used with an adjective. Jisu is cute and kind. Jisu. Jisu nun. Cute. To be cute is kri yop ta, right? If it's conjugated in present tense, we learned that it follows an irregular rule, so it becomes kri wa, but kri yop ta is the base verb, right? So we put the stem of the base verb, kri yop, and then ku, right? Jisu nun kri yop ku. It's not kriyawa ko. I see a couple of uh, mistakes like this in some of uh, the learner sentences, but now you get that it's kriyop ko because it has to come from the stem of the base verb, right? The jisun is kriyop ko. Chinjal heyu. You can say it like this. There's another word for kind that I would like you guys to know. So I cannot find to this day an exact equivalent word for this in English, and it's takeyo. So when we say a person is takara, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Uh, I think the, the word that has the closest meaning is probably nice. So, you know, she's a nice person, you know, I think she's nice. It has that kind of meaning. So we use this word when we think of a person as, you know, 
you know, you know, you know, who, someone who's nice and someone who has a good personality, someone who's kind, just in every way is a good person. We say 착하다, 착하다. So you can use this word. 지수는 귀엽고 착해요. And you can also, uh, I mean, this sentence is also with an adjective, and it follows the same rule, right? 지수는 Tall. Do you guys re- do you guys remember how to say tall in Korean? Tall. We say the height is big for tall, right? 키가 크다. 키가 크다. And for short, 키가 작다. The height is small and the height is big. So 지수는 키가 크고 제프는 제프는 키가 작아요. 제프는 키가 작아요. So that, that's how you can use it. So it wasn't really that difficult. And same with the past tense. You just put the past tense and put 고. So let's translate this sentence. So if you know how to conjugate verbs in past tense, then everything's figured out. You can just put 고 after the stem. So in 2004, I was in elementary school and I liked games. So to translate the sentence, actually in Korean, we don't say I was in elementary school. We more tend to say I was an elementary school student. So let's change the sentence to translate it uh, more smoothly. I was an elementary student. So, 2004년에 we use sign on word for year, right? 2004년에 in 2004년에 저는 elementary school. Do you guys know how to say elementary school? 저는 초등학생 저는 초등학생 and was. So be verbs past form, right? Be verb is 이다. And you put 어 to make it in past form, right? 저는 2004년에 저는 초등학생이었어요. 그리고 blah, blah, blah. That's the rest of the sentence, right? Here, you can make 그리고 in conjunction by placing it after the stem of the past form. So, 이다, when it's conjugated in past tense, it becomes 이옷, right? So, you take 이옷 and put 고. 2004년에 저는 초등학생이었고, 2004년에 저는 초등학생이었고, liked games, 게임을 게임을 좋아했어요. 게임을 좋아했어요. If you want to switch the order of the sentence, you can say 저는 게임을 좋아했고, right? Because this is the stem. 좋아했고 초등학생이었어요. You can say that. I'm beginner at Korean, and I think that this video is for intermediates and advanced. Uh, 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 I, I, I see what you mean, uh, Lee saw one. Um, so I wouldn't say this is a intermediate level, um, technically, because I think uh, people have different definition of what is a beginner and what level is an intermediate and what level is advanced. Uh, but um, this is pretty much like the the beginning re- level grammar and by beginning I don't mean it's easy because I think Korean grammar for Korean grammar the beginning part is um, I guess there's more beginning part than other languages correct uh, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong it's just my opinion uh, so so uh, what, what am I trying to say <laughs> so You'll get, you'll get there, Lisa Won. I 응원할게요, 응원할게요. I know that uh, you have to uh, start from certain 
Uh, what am I trying to say? I'm sorry, guys. Today, I'm not really good with words and explanation. I don't know why. Um, but uh, you, have to do, you have to do it step by step. So there are certain things, certain grammar that you need to know to understand this class. I didn't specify it in the description box. I'm sorry about it. Um, but um, I hope you could start from the beginning parts that you need to know and slowly build up and get to kind of catch up with other learners. That's what I uh, wish for you. Good luck. Fighting, fighting. You can do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so my grandmother was a singer and my grandfather was a police officer. My grandmother, um, so we learned that my is te, and you can also say uri. Uri means our, but it also means my in a friendly way, right? But there's also another way to say my. It's to he. To he is a more like polite and respectful way to say my. So when it's grandmother, you want to show respect to your grandmother, right? So that's why tohi kana suits here. Tohi hai mo ni. Tohi hai mo ni nen. Tohi hai mo ni nen. Singer. Do you guys know what singer is? Kasu. Kasu. Tohi hai mo ni nen. Kasu. And it doesn't have the patim, right? So you don't have to put e in past form. You can just say yot. 가수였고 저희 할머니는 가수였고 저희 and grandfather is 할아버지 저희 할아버지는 police officer 경 so, Kyungchal, I think we, uh, I didn't teach you guys these words, or some of you might know this from like other sources, but police officer is Kyungchal. 저희 할아버지는 Kyungchal. This one has 받침, right? So, you have to put 이 and say 옷, 이 옷, not 옷, but 옷, right? 경찰 이 옷, 써요. Here, if you guys have uh, practice seiyu ending, then you can also guess that 가수 였고 can be 가수 셨고 and 할아버지는 경찰 이 셨어요. So 셨 is the past form of seiyu ending, which is an ending if you want to show respect, right? So if you don't remember, it's okay. I will link the video in the description box later. But this is also how you can say it when you want to show respect to your grandmother and grandfather in the verb part by using say you and ding in past form. And also, also for the past form, let's, I think we can do it quick because drink is bashida, right? Bashida. And if you change it in present form, I mean, sorry, past form, it's ba shotta, right? 저는 커피를, 커피를 마셨고, I don't need further explanation on this, right? Now you, you guys get it, right? Because it's the stem, right? 마셨고, 제프는 Coke. Coke is cola. Cola. So, uh, cola is Coke in Korean. So, a lot of Koreans, when they go to America or like other, other countries, when they want to order Coke, they say, please give me cola, cola. And um, I noticed that a lot of like local people find that cute and funny. Is that true? Cola. I once thought cola is actual like English word for Coke, but... um. It turned out that I was wrong, but um, there was, I found that kind of funny. So, 제프는 콜라를 마셨어요. 
대표는 콜라를 마셨어요. Um, here, uh, okay, so let's finish with this sentence first, and then I'm going to explain something else to you guys. So we, 우리, right? 우리는 sang, sang. So just like to dance was 춤을 추다, it has to go with 춤, the noun. Sing is the same. You have to say 노래를 부르다. 노래를 부르다. It means to sing. 노래 means a song, and 부르다 is a noun. I mean, is a verb for sing. But you can't just say 부르다 when you mean sing. You can't. You have to say 노래를 부르다. So it literally means to sing a song. 우리는 노래를 부르다. Uh, I think it's also an irregular verb. So what happens if you conjugate it in present verb is that it becomes 불러, 불렀다. So 우리는 노래를 불렀고 춤을 췄어요. 우리는 노래를 불렀고 춤을 췄어요. And there is a reason why I brought these two sentences in one page. Uh, it's because you don't have to say 마셨고. You can just put it in present verb 마시고 if there is a past tense in the uh, in the remaining sentence. So if it's a past form and when you want to conjugate it with the sentence, I mean not conjugate, sorry, when you want to make a sentence connector in conjunction by conjugating it with the verb and when that verb is past, you don't necessarily have to specify that it's a past, it's a past form unless there is a past form indicated at the end of the sentence. So you can just say, 저는 커피를 마시고, 제프는 콜라를 마셨어요. It doesn't matter if you write it in the present tense here, because we all know that you mean past by the end of the sentence. Does this, does, does this make sense, guys? So that's why it's not really that difficult, right? Even if it's past, you can remember the present tense. You get what I mean? And so here, 우리는 노래를 불렀고 can also be said like 우리는, 우리는 노래를 부 You can just go with the present. 부르 present form. So you just put base form and then 고. And it still means past because there is already you are, you are anyways going to indicate that it's a past form in the end of the sentence. Does this make sense, guys? I mean, I mean, not make sense, but uh, do you guys get it? It might not, it might not make sense, <laughs> but uh, are you guys getting what I'm saying? So yes, both 마셨고 is okay, but it's kind of like, uh, it, it's kind of, you know, 귀찮아. It's kind of, we're, we're kind of too lazy to conjugate every verb in present, I mean in past, so that's when you can just use uh, the, the present form. All right. So we, we just learned that, right? So we can, con uh, we can translate this in the right way. I had steak and she had salad. 저는, so had here means to eat, right? So let's go with 먹다 verb. 저는 steak, steak, steak를 먹. So if you want to say it in full past form, 먹었고 is possible. However, you can also just say 먹고, 먹고 and put the past tense in the end of the sentence, right? 저는 스테이크를 먹고 Let's write she as um, 예, right? We learn how to say she in Korean, right? And let's say it's this person, 예 This person, 예는 
샐러드 is 샐러드. <웃음> There are a lot of Congress words, right? Steak and salad. 얘는 샐러드를 먹었어요. Here, you have to write it in past tense, right? But you don't have to write past tense in every single verb if you're gonna, if you're gonna connect it with the conjunction. Okay, so, and this one as well. When I was young, I was short and weak. When I was young, so I think you can memorize the phrases. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> thank you, YBX. Uh, I'm also thinking of her. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, back to our lesson. Uh, when I was young, so I want you guys to remember this phrase uh, all together. When I was young, you can say, 어릴 적에, 어릴 적에, or you can also say, 어렸을 때. Oh, 감사합니다, 선생님. 저는 열심히 공부할 거예요. Oh, well, uh, I really hope that you keep up with your study, and I hope you continue to work hard. Thank you so much for the super chat gift. Uh, 어릴 적에, 어렸을 때. So these all come from the adjective that means 어리다, 어리다, which means to be young, to be young. Uh, it can sometimes have a negative connotation like, oh, 쟤 너무 어려, like, oh, she's too young. But it can also mean like literally someone is young. So 어릴 적에 어렸을 때, 때 means time. So by the time I was young, when I was young, I was short and weak. 저는 short. What is short, guys? Do you guys remember? It's a review time. Short. 키가 height is small, right? 키가 작다. And here too as well. It's was. It's in past form, right? So you can say 저는 키가 작았고, you can say that, right? But not necessary, right? You can just go with the past form, I mean the present form here. 저는 키가 작고, 어렸을 적에 저는 키가 작고, and for weak part, you have to specify that it's a past form. 저는 키가 작고, 약, uh, sorry, weak is 약하다, 약하다. 약 했어요. 어렸을 적에, 어릴 적에 저는 키가 작고 약했어요. This is how you can make, uh, you can translate. Uh, hi Vicky, can you do examples in future tense verbs with ko? Oh yes, yes. Uh, actually, I prepared future tense sentences, which is actually right here. <laughs> Okay, so here we go, Henry. Here we go, Henry, and everyone else. Uh, I will go to school and mom will stay home. So uh, do you guys, I'm pretty sure uh, many of you guys know how to conjugate verbs in future tense. For those of you who don't know yet or are, are still confused, let's review. So for future, if you want to make a verb in future tense, what you can do is you can put the stem, and if the stem has patim, you put liel patim, right? I mean, sorry, sorry. If the stem doesn't have patim, if the stem doesn't have patim, you put liel patim at first stem and say ko e yo, or for pan mai you can say ko ya, ko ya, and for a word that has 받침, you put 을, right? After a stem, and same. 거에요, or 거야, right? So I will go to school and mom will stay home. 저는 go to school, 집에 가다, right? 가. Ka, since this doesn't have patin, you put liu patin. Kal ko. Kal ko, and you end it here. And then you put ko. 
저는 집에 갈 거고 저는 집에 갈 거고 and 엄마는 stay home 집에 to, for stay you can say 있다 verb 집에 it right 있다 it and then you put 을 because this one has 받침 in its stem so 집에 있을 거 에요 거예요 so the stem the stem in the future stem is this part 거 it's a uh, where is it it's this part right this part without a u yeah right 저는 집에 갈 거고 엄마는 집에 있을 거예요 if you want to switch the order you can say 엄마는 집에 있을 거고 엄마는 집에 있을 거고 어, 저는 집에 갈 거예요 you can say it like that right we will study and they will sleep Oh, Miss Vicky, shouldn't it be Hakyo? <laughs> right, you guys are right. Sorry, guys. Oh, correction. Correction. I was confused myself. I thought this was home. Sorry. 저는 학교에 갈 거고, 엄마는 집에 있을 거예요. Okay, thanks for the correction. And we will study and they will sleep. 우리는 공부 공부하다 is study, right? So you put 공부하, 공부할, 거, 고. It's easy, right? I mean, it's, it's not that difficult, right? 우리는 공부할 거고. Let's write 쟤들. 쟤들. We learn how to say they, right? Let's say the, those people we see over there. 쟤들은, 쟤들은. 자다. Sleep is 자다, right? 잘 거에요. If you want to switch the order, you can say 쟤들은 잘 거고 우리는 공부할 거예요. Uh, not 다니고. 다니고. Oh, uh, 다니고. Okay, that's a good question. That's a good vocabulary question. So, Matt Cordy asked a question on 다니다. For go to school and tani that does mean go like to school but it's different from it's different from kada which so kada means to like literally go to school like the action of going to school but to tani that means you go to that school in general like you are part of that school you attend that school do you know what i mean so let's say um so Seoul National University. So if if you are part of Seoul National University, like you take classes there and it's your school. If Seoul National University it's your is your school, you can say 저는 서울대학교에 다녀요. I I go to that school. Like I take classes and I'm I'm a student there. It means that. But kada means like the actual action of going there. So here, it means he will go to school, like doing the action of going, right? So tanida here doesn't suit here. So it's ka, it should go with ka. And I will buy this one and Jeff will buy that one. 저는 this one, 이거, 이거, right? 저는 이거를 사다, right? 사다 means to buy. And you put 리을 받침, 거, 고, right? 저는 이거를 살 거고, 저는 이거를 살 거고, 제프, 어, 픽시, 어, yes, this will be saved uh, on my channel. The full lesson will be saved on my channel. 제프는 that one, 저거를 살 거예요, right? I hope you guys are getting it. And okay, so we just, wow, I didn't expect it to take like an hour to just do 그리고, only uh, the meaning number one. Wow, it took a lot of time. 
I wonder how long this、uh, live class is going to be, but, uh, but uh, let's continue. <laughs> so, we just learned kurigo, what it means, and we learned how to、uh, use it as a noun connector and a verb connector and a sentence connector and how to make it in conjunction in present tense, past tense, and future tense, right? And we are now moving on to the same sentence connector, kurigo. But this time it means something different, which means then. As in, it doesn't mean then as in if then, but then as in next. I will do this and then I will do that. That kind of then. So it basically has the same conjunction rule.、Uh, however, the meaning is different. So let's look at the sentences here. 저녁을 먹고 설거지를 했어요. 저녁을 먹고 설거지를 했어요. So, I think we can guess now that 먹고 is a combination of eat and, right? So, 저녁, we all know it means dinner, right? So, we,、uh, so we can know that 먹고 here is the past form, right? We learned this, right? Because the end of the sentence is past form. So, we can automatically know that this one also means past form. But when writing it, we don't necessarily have to write it in past form here, right? So, 저녁을 먹고 설거지를 했어요. It means I had dinner and then 설거지 means、uh, it's a noun that means washing the dishes,、uh, dishwashing, dishwashing. So, after I had dinner,、uh, sorry, I had dinner and I did the dishwashing. However, this cool. Is more of a、uh, then, in that the sequence is this first and then that. So he had, a, so it's more like after I had dinner, I did dishwashing. 열 시간 동안 공부를 하고 바로 자서. It's not really difficult to get right because the English word and also has the same meaning of then, right? So it's pretty much the same. And your 시간 동안, you're doing great and we're not bored, don't worry. Oh, thank you. Also, it's almost 1 a.m. in Korea. n Yes, yes, it's 1 a.m. here. But、um, for some reason, I don't feel tired. I feel very energized. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm really happy to hear that. Thank you for the encouragement.、Um, moving on to the next sentence. Your 시간 동안, 공부를 하고, 바로 잤어요. 열 시간 동안 공부를 하고 바로 잤어요. Can you guys guess what this sentence means first before I give you an explanation? Oh, so 동안 here、uh, means like for, as in like for a certain time. So 열 시간 means for 10 hours. So this one, I'll just help you with. This translation, the translation of this part for 10 hours. So I know that a lot of you are confused with time, like how to say、um, when to use sino numbers and when to use pure number, and how to say hours, how to say a clock, how to say minutes. So I will do a separate video on that.、Uh, but for now, your shigan means 10 hours. For 10 hours, 공부를 하고 I studied for 10 hours and then I went to sleep. Yes, Angelina, thank you. That's the exact right translation. So, 공부를 하고 after I did 공부, after I studied, 바로 잤어요. 바로 잤어요. So, 잤어요 is obviously a past form of 자다, which means to sleep. And 바로 here is an adverb that means right away. Right away. So,、uh, for a 10 hour study, and then right away I went to sleep. 열 시간 동안 공부를 하고 바로 잤어요. And you can also use it like this. 엄마, mom says, 얼른 방 청소해. 얼른 방 청소해. 방 means room, and 청소하다. Means to clean. Means to clean. So clean your room 
Ollen, Ollen. So Ollen is also an adverb that is used when you're like hastening other people, hastening other people, like do it quick, like uh, like hurry and go to your room and clean. You know, it kind of means that. So Ollen 방 청소해. Her mom is nagging, and then Jeff says, 영화 다 보고 청소할게. 영화 다 보고 청소할게. 영화, movie, right? 다 보고, 다 보고. Uh, so if you put 다 before a verb, it means to finish that verb. So 다, we learn, means all. It, it can also be a noun, but it can also be an adjective. I mean, not adjective, but adverb. Here it's adverb. So when you say 다 보다, it means to watch it all. Watch it all. Okay, so the first meaning is to watch it all, but it can also mean to finish washing. I mean, finish watching. <laughs> to finish watching. So, 영화 다 보고. After I finish the movie, 영화 다 보고 청소할게. 영화 다 보고 청소할게. I will do 청소. I will clean after I watch a movie. So here, uh, you might notice this sentence ending. So it's a little bit different from 니를 마침 거야, which, is, which we learn is a future form that means will we, right? Will verb. Um, it's, it's pretty much the same in that it has the meaning of future, but it's more like, um, it's more like let me, or it's, it's kind of like a determination that you're going to do something. So it's kind of a different sentence ending with, the future form. So this one is actually used a lot. Like, oh, 내가 할게. Let me do it. Or like, 내가 내일 줄게. Uh, let me give it to you tomorrow. You know, things like, uh, it's used like that. 내일 마침 게. And also, uh, let's just quickly go over these two. 편지를 다 쓰고 우체국에 갔어요. 편지를 다 쓰고 우체국에 갔어요. 편지 means a letter. 다 쓰고. I think if you guys have good memory, you can guess what this means. Can you guys guess what this means? 다 쓰고. 다 쓰고. So 쓰다 means to write, right? And when you say 다 쓰다, it means you finished Writing, right? Finish writing. 다 쓰다. Just like we learned here. 다 보고. 다 쓰고. So, 고 here means then, right? Uh, letter. Finish writing letter. I finished write, writing letter. And then, 우체국에 갔어요. 우체국에 갔어요. 우체국 means post office. 우체국에 갔어요. Went. I went to a post office after I wrote a letter. 지수를 만나고 집에 갔어요. 지수를 만나고 지수 만나 comes from 만나다, which means to meet, right? So after meeting 지수, 집에 갔어요. I went home. I went home. So that's how you can use it. And oh, there is actually one more meaning that is not like always used, but it is still used and you will still hear it in a lot of lyrics, lots of lyrics. Um, so cool when it's a conjunction, not when it's a sentence connector, but when it's a conjunction, when it's attached after a verb can also mean at the same time, but not with every verb, not with every verb, uh, just with limited amount of verbs. Um, so there is another sentence connector that means at the same time, which is 그러면서. And we're going to learn about this in another time, at another time. But you can also use 고 when you want to say at the same time. So when you want to say like something's happening together. So this is actually used in a lot of lyrics. 네 손을 잡고 갈게. 네 손을 잡고 갈게. 네 here is do which means your right your son hand chap chap that means to hold 
So hold, so holding your hand, hold your hand, and at the same time, kaike, I will go, I will go. So this means I will go holding your hand. So that's how ku can be used. And same with the rest of these two sentences. 놀라지 말고 들어. Actually, this is a uh, part of the lyrics of BTS song. Uh, I, I remember it was a rap part. But 놀라지 말고 들어 means uh, so when you want, when you say verb 지 마 말다, it means not do the verb. So I'm just going to be very brief with the explanation here because this is not the main uh, focus. But uh, 놀라지 말다 means not get surprised. So this means not not get surprised and at the same time, tudo, listen to my words, like hear me out. Hear me out and don't freak out is the meaning of it. So it indicates that this too should happen at the same time. So that's when you can use 고. And 가방을 들고 뛰었어요. I ran holding my bag. I ran with my bag is the meaning. Okay, so that was the 그리고 conjunction that I brought today. 그리고. It took more than an hour. Wow, that's pretty unexpected. Um, okay, I really don't know how long it's going to be because, because there are a lot to explain. Um, okay, let's first move on to 그렇지만 and 하지만. Let's move on to but part. But. But part. So we're going to start with 그렇지만 and 하지만. So as you can see, the commonality of these two uh, sentence connectors is that 지만, it ends with 지만, right? So they both have the same conjunction form and the same meaning. So you can consider them uh, pretty much the same. So here is the conjunction form, and this one's not difficult as well. You just put the base stem and then connect it with 지만. So it's pretty much the similar rule with 그리고, right? What we did back in 그리고. So this is the same. 저는 한국어를 잘해요. I am good at Korean. 저는 한국어를 잘해요. 하지만, 하지만 영어는 못해요. So 잘해요 and 못해요 are two uh, words with opposite meaning. 잘해요 means to be good at something and to 못해요 means to be bad at something. So 영어는 못해요 means I'm good at Korean but I am not good at English. And here you can see 는 is used, right? And we have been taught that 는 is a uh, subject marking particle, right? However, sometimes it can also be used as an object marking particle. And this is one of the lessons that uh, I was requested to do, object marking particle. So I'm going to make a separate video on this as well. But here you can uh, just note that nun here is used as an object marking particles that shows contrast. So you speak Korean well, whereas you don't speak English well. So it shows contrast. So that's why this object marking particle is used. 하지만 영어는 못해요. Uh, but the point is how you can conjugate these two. I think now you've got the hang of it. So I think you can do it by yourself. <laughs> Can you guys guess how to do it? Oh, hello, Miss Vicky. Thanks for teaching me the basics for Korean. Oh, you're welcome, Tony. I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy. I can. I could be of help to you. Okay, so 잘 하다 is the base form, right? And you put base stem and put 지만. 지만, 지만, 잘하지만, 저는 한국어를 잘하지만, 영어는 못해요. 잘하지만, 영어는 못해요. Isra, yes, 잘하지만, you're correct. Alexandria, yes, uh, I think you made a typo there, but it's 잘하지만, yes, you are correct. 잘하지만, 
And 엄마는 차를 마셔요. 그렇지만 아빠는 안 마셔요. And then here is a subject marking particle. 차 means tea, right? It can also mean a car, but here obviously it means tea because it's used with the verb 마셔요, which means to drink. And 안 마셔요, we know that this is a negation of the verb, so don't drink, right? And now you can conjugate. I mean, not conjugate. Why do I keep saying conjugate to mean conjunction? <laughs> They're two very confusing words. Do you guys agree? <laughs> conjunction and conjugation. All these grammar terms, I, I actually agree that all these grammar terms are very confusing and sometimes annoying, but uh, it's also kind of uh, effective in a way because you can refer to certain words by using just one word. Not you don't have to explain everything what that word is, like every trait of that word. You could you can just say this is this, that grammar term, and then you know, people who know that grammar term understand what I'm saying. So that's effective in a way, but I have to admit it is annoying. Oh but um but so yo man. 마시지만 is right. Yes, you're right again. But I think you made a typo there. Yes, 마시지만. 마시지만. 엄마는 차를 마시지만 아빠는 안 마셔요. 저는 TV를 보고 있어요. 하지만 동생이 방해해요. 저는 TV를 보고 있어요. From here, we can know that this is a present progressive, right? So 저는 TV를 보고 있어요. What? and ing, right? Is watching or am watching because it's I. I am watching TV. 하지만 동생이 방해해요. 동생 is a, is a younger sibling, right? My younger sibling is 방해해요. 방해. 하다 means to like interrupt, like to disturb. So, oh, my, 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 my sibling is disturbing me. But I'm, I'm watching TV, but my younger sibling is uh, interrupting me. And here, you can say, 보고 it, right? Because you, we consider this as a verb, and it comes from itta verb, right? 보고 있지만 저는 TV를 보고 있지만, 있지만, 잇 and 지만, 동생이 방해해요. That's how you can use it. And so, just like, just like, uh, just like 그리고 was used both with verb and adjective because verb and adjectives are pretty much the same thing. Same with 그렇지만 and 하지만. They can also be combined with an adjective following the same rule. 지수는 예쁘지만 저는 안 예뻐요. 지수는 예쁘. Obviously, it comes from the adjective that we all know, 예쁘다. 예쁘다. To be pretty, right? So 지수 is pretty, but 지만 I am not. I'm not pretty. Jisoo is pretty, but I'm not pretty. 떡볶이는 맛있지만 매워요. 떡볶이는 맛있지만 매워요. 떡볶이 is my favorite Korean food. <laughs> it's a rice cake. How do you say it in English? There was a there was an English word for 떡볶이. It was spicy rice cake. Was it spicy rice cake? Uh, anyways, it's just the name of the Korean dish. Tteokbokki는 uh, 맛있지만 <laughs> 맛있다 means to be delicious, right? To be delicious. And so here, I want you guys to uh, keep in mind that 맛있다 has 있다 in it. And there is a reason why this is important. Uh, not now. But when we do 그런데 and 근데 uh, sentence connector, this becomes pretty much uh, an important thing to note. But here, it's not really. But anyways, 맛있다 means delicious, and it has 있다 in it. Oh, 맛있다. Do you know how 맛있다 became delicious, by the way? If you remember that, that's, if you know that, 
that's gonna be it's this word is gonna be easy to like remember. So mat means taste, and ita we all know means to be there, right? To exist, right? So mashita means there is a taste, so it's delicious. But when you say mat opta, it means there isn't taste, so it's not delicious. It tastes horrible. Mat opta and mashita. That's how it became delicious. 떡볶이는 맛있지만, but 매워요, 매워요. 매다, 맵다. This is also a 비읍받침, irregular verb or irregular adjective. So it became 매워요 in present form, right? And here as well, 한국어는 재미있지만 어려워요. Yes, yeah, somebody in the comment section, you, you, you. Uh, yeah, you FMN. Sorry, I'm I'm really bad at pronouncing names. But you wrote Korean is interesting, but it's hard. Yes, Korean is interesting, but it's hard. 어려워요 also comes from 어렵다, and it's another 비읍받침 irregular verb, right? And 재미 재미 as well. This one has 있다 in it, right? 재미 재미 means fun, and 있다 means to have. So when something has fun, it's like something is interesting or fun. Interesting or fun. So I want to let you guys know, uh, I want to teach you guys a slang word that's pretty funny. So 노잼, 노잼. Have you guys heard of this word? 노잼, 노잼. And can you guys guess what this means? 노잼. 아, 제 노잼이야. 제 완전 노잼이야. 노잼. It's actually a Konglish word, but it's a mixture of English and Korean word. So 노 here means no. And 잼, 잼 actually comes from 재미. So 잼 means, 재미 means fun, right? So 노잼 means no fun. So when you say someone is 노잼 or a certain joke is 노잼, it's like, oh, that joke is lame. Like that person is boring. It means that 노잼. 노잼 doesn't mean like no jam, like jam as in the strawberry jam, but it's a Congress word for no fun. Yeah. Yay, a new slang word. Yeah. <laughs> not cool, not fun. Yes, yes. That is correct. And so that's how you make 그렇지만 하지만 in conjunction when it's present tense and when it's past tense, you can also put past them and 지만. Mm. Oh, so unlike 그리고, we learned that when when in past tense, it doesn't have to be past them before 고, right? The verb doesn't have to be past them in 고 unless there is another past them in the end of the sent at the end of the sentence, right? But for 지만, you have to make it in past form. You have to, you have to. So that's one difference from 그리고 sentence connector. So you, sh you shouldn't say 사랑하지만, but 사랑했지만, if you mean the, the, the past form. Even if there is a past form at the end, you have to match these two in the same tense. 데니는 샌디를 사랑했지만, 용기가 없었어요. 데니는 샌디를 사랑했지만, 용기가 없었어요. So, Danny, Danny, Danny. Actually, this is this this sentence is inspired by the movie Grease. I think I've mentioned that I am kind of obsessed with the movie Grease, right? I watched it over and over again, and yeah, it's a sentence inspired by that movie. So, Danny is the name of the boy character. The boy main character, and Sandy is the name of the girl. So Danny, Danny는 샌디를 사랑했지만 용기가 없었어요. 사랑했지만 사랑했 사랑했 is obviously a past verb of 사랑하다, right? So it means loved, loved. Danny loved Sandy. Danny loved Sandy. 지만 but 용기가 없었어요. 용기가 없었어요. When we say something e or something ka. 없어요, 
It means to not have, right? And this is obviously a past form. So 용기 is uh, courage. Courage. Danny loved Sandy but had no courage. Is what it means. 점심은 먹었지만 저녁은 안 먹었어요. I think we all know, uh, we all can like understand what this sentence means, right? 점심은 먹었지만 먹었다 means ate. 안 먹었어요. Ate, not ate, so didn't eat. Lunch, 점심은 먹었지만 저녁은 안 먹었어요. So here, uh, once again, some of you might be a little bit confused with this particle, 은 and 은. Like, how can a lunch eat? Or how can a dinner eat? They, they are supposed to be eaten, right? So actually, this 은, like I once mentioned in the previous part, is an object marking particle. So like I briefly mentioned, it is used when you are contrasting different um, object, like you did this object, but for this object, you didn't. So here, 먹었지만 and 안 먹었지만 is contrast, right? You ate and you didn't eat. So this means I ate lunch, but, but I didn't eat dinner. That's what it means. And okay, so a lot of you are talking about K-pop stars. K-pop stars. Yes. I see some people are once. Once is the fandom of uh, twice, right? The group twice. Once. I, I see a lot of once here in the live chat. Okay, so let's move on to the next sentence. 한국은 예전에 가난했지만 지금은 많이 발전했어요. So this is kind of an advanced, not advanced, but more like a dif difficult um, sentence with new vocabularies. So 발전 하다 발전하다 means to develop or to make progress. And 한국, 한국은 Korea, 한국은 예전에 가난했지만 예전에, 예전에 means previously. So 예전 actually means pre uh, previous time and 에 is a time particle. So previously Korea 가난했지만 so this is an adjective, a past adjective that comes from 가난하다. 가난하다. 가난하다 means to be poor. To be poor. So Korea previously was poor. It was poor, right? It's in past form. But Korea used to be uh, very poor. But 지금은, 지금은, now, 지금은, 많이 is an adverb that means a lot. 많이 발전했어요. Developed, developed. Korea used to be very poor, but now uh, it's developed a lot. That's what it means. BTS. I think I, uh, there is a lot of armies and blinks uh, in, the, in the live chat as well. So my favorite uh, K-pop stars, uh, it's a little bit off topic, but uh, my f uh, three of my favorite K-pop stars are Jessie. I don't know if you guys know who Jessie is. Jessie is a Korean-American solo artist. She's very funny. Do you guys know Jess who Jessie is? She's kind of like a rapper. Uh, she's a solo artist. She's really cool. And I like Lisa. Blackpink Lisa is my all-time favorite like idol. Like I don't, I don't even want to call her idol. She's she's just an artist. She's just an artist herself. And third, as you might have guessed it, is J Hope from BTS. So I like all the members in Blackpink and BTS, but um, Lisa and J Hope are for some reason my my bias. I like IU. Yes, I like IU too. Like I really admire her work ethic. She's she's a really good singer. Like she's one of my favorite uh, K-pop artists too. Not not Jesse J, not Jesse J, not 
uh, she, he, she's Jesse, Jessica Ho. So Ho is her、uh, last name. Ho Hyunju is her Korean name, but she goes by Jessica Ho in English name. So, yeah. <laughs> And、um, I like watching Running Man. Yes, Jessie was in Running Man. Was she? Yeah, it was really fun. Like the chemistry that she has with Yu Jae Sok, the main MC, it's so hilarious. Like,、uh, you, guys should wa- you guys should go watch it. There's also an English subtitle, and it's like one of the funniest episodes. <laughs> so, so, yeah. But、um, let's move on to the future tense. So, in future tense, it's the same too. You just put the future stem and you put jiman. Jiman. So, I will meet Jisoo, but not now. I will meet Jisoo. 저는 Jisoo를 만나다 is to meet, right? 만날, 만날, 거, 거? 지만, 만날 거지만, future stem, 지만, not now, not now. 지금은 아니에요. 지금은 아니에요. Not now. 저는 지수를 만날 거지만 지금은 아니에요. I will meet Jisoo, but now is not the good time. And Jeff will not come, but it's okay. Jeff will not come. 제프는 안 should come first, right? Because it's not come. 안 오다, so 오 should be placed first. 안올 거. 제프는 안올 거지만. 제프는 안올 거지만. But it's okay. It's okay. 괜찮아요. 괜찮아요. 제프는 안올 거지만. 괜찮아요. Jeff won't come, but it's okay. So you can say it like that. 저는 지수를 만나고 하지만 지금 안 만나를 거예요. Uh, actually, it's not a correct sentence. Uh, but could you tell me like what you meant by that sentence so that I can correct you uh correctly? Okay. In the meantime. Uh, let's move on to finally. Okay, so we just finished. 그렇지만 하지만, and then we're moving on to the third one. 그런데 and 근데, which、uh, needs a lot of explanation. Actually, it's one of the it's the most hardest one, but not that hard. Not like impossibly hard, but it is the hardest one amongst、uh, all the sentence connectors that we are learning, just because of the conjunction rule that is quite different. From the rest, so we will、uh, look at it now. Let's jump into it now. 그런데 and 근데 also means but, but. However, adjective when it's combined with an adjective and when it's combined with the verb, there is one different rule. So this is kind of I have to mention this, guys, because this is a very rare exception. So 그런데 and 근데 is the only sentence connector, probably the only. I don't know if there is like like a few other more, but I will tell you if I、uh, if I figure it out. But、um, for now, 그런데 and 근데 is the only sentence connector that has different rules for adjectives and verbs. Like we learn, in most cases, adjectives and adverbs are pretty much pretty much、uh, considered the same, right? But when it comes to 그런데 and 근데 becoming conjunction, it follows a different rule. So that's one thing you need to know, and that's why I put a star, one extra star here, because this is especially important. <laughs> and okay, so how it works is. So let's start with the adjective first. So when an adjective is in、uh, present stem, I mean present verb, you put base stem. So that's the same with the rest of the rules, right? You put base stem, but you put niun batim or 
yun. And as you guys are can already guess, if a part, if a preceding noun doesn't have patin, it you have to put dien, and if the noun has patin, you have to put un. So, kenen yepo. Let's count. I mean, let, let's um connect these two sentences in one by making it in conjunction. Kenen yepo. 근데 성격이 안 좋아. 걔는 예뻐. 근데 성격이 안 좋아. Can you guys guess what this means? 걔는 예뻐. Okay, she is pretty. 근데 but 성격이 안 좋아. When we say a noun is 안 좋아, it means not good. So personality is not good. So 성격이 안 좋아 is used when you don't like the personality of someone that you're talking about. So, Kenan yep bomb. Here, ye bu da ye bu from ye bu da should come right. And since this is an adjective, you have to put niun batim, niun batim, right? Niun batim, not un because this one doesn't have batim, right? You have to put niun batim. 걔는 예쁜 and then you put 대 대. so I forgot to mention 대 is one common letter in 그런데 and 근데 right? so you can put 대 in a conjunction so 걔는 예쁜데 걔는 예쁜데 if you combine 예뻐 and 근데 it becomes 걔는 예쁜데 걔는 예쁜데 성격이 안 좋아. She is pretty, but she her personality is not good. And also, if you want to switch the order, how can you combine these two? Can you guys guess? 비키 쌤 덕분에 공부하기가 재밌어요. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really glad I could be of help. And I mean it. Thank you, Gangin, for joining once again. Kenan Songkyogi Anjua Kunde Po Kenan Songkyogi So I'm waiting for someone to write the correct answer. I'm kinda expecting a lot from you guys. <laughs> so can you guess what will be put after Chu? Chu ta means good. Anjo Yes, Isra, yes, thank you. It's Anjo Un. In, 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 in. Because when it's an adjective, so if it's a verb, we should put in, which we're gonna get to soon. But for adjective, you have to put in if the preceding noun doesn't have, I mean, does have patim. So it, this, the stem has patim, right? So anjo in, you have to say in. Anjo in, and then te. Anjo. So this is kind of complicated, right? So this, like I told you guys, this is the part where it gets a bit confusing. And here's the irony, guys. So at the end of the page, I wrote the level of formality of the sentence connectors that we're learning today. And 그런데 and 근데 sounds less serious. And it is the most commonly used in speaking. However, this is the most difficult to learn. Oh, the irony. This is so frustrating, right? This is the most commonly used, but this is the most difficult. It has the most difficult role. <laughs> so, yes, that's, um, that's sort of a, I don't know, a paradox. <laughs> it's sort of a dilemma that we're all in. But uh, we can do it. Uh, if we get used to it and we, if we keep practicing, then we will finally get to kind of really get the hang of it and understand it and use it in a correct way. So I brought many example sentences to help you guys. So you guys get the basic rules of adjective in present tense, right? When it becomes, when 그런데 and 근데 is combined with the adjective in present tense, this is a rule. This is a rule. It follows. And okay, so oh, sorry guys. So this is the, we just finished the adjective, 
And now we're going to move on to example sentences of verb. So for verb, it's different from adjective in that you put dun. So whether a, a stem has patim or doesn't end in patim, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, you put nun. So that's different from adjective, right? So 저는 한국어를 공부해요. 근데 아직 잘 못해요. 저는 한국어를 Korean 공부해요. Study. 근데 but 아직 잘 못해요. 저는 한국어를 공부해요. 근데 아직 잘 못해요. 아직 is an adverb that means yet. And 잘 못해요. So 못해요, we learned, it means not good at. But when you say 잘 못해요, it's like not that good or not very good. So I'm not at a level where I don't know anything, but it's more like I'm not really at a level where I wish to be or I'm not really that fluent. You can say 잘 못해요. 저는 한국어를 공부해요, 근데 잘 못해요. So following the rule here, we can put the base stem first, right? 공부하다. 공부하 from 공부하다, right? 공부하. And then you put 는. So like I said, whether it ends in 받침 or doesn't end in 받침, doesn't matter, you just put 는 after a verb. 공부하는. And then you put 해, right? 공부하는데, 공부하는데, yes, Alexandria, 공부하는데, 저는 한국어를 공부하는데 아직 잘 못해요. I speak Korean, but I am not very good at it yet. 공부하는데. And now, can you guys, uh, do you, can you guys, do, do you guys think you can do the next sentence yourself? 저는 영화를 봐요. 근데 언니가 방해해요. So we learned 방해. What this word means. If you have good memory, you can remember that 방해하다 means to disturb or interrupt, right? So, 언니, my sister is interrupting. I watch a movie, but my sister is interrupting. Can you guys uh, try? Can you guys practice uh, making, uh, connecting them? In the meantime, I'm going to have a sip of my tea. <laughs> I am waiting for you guys' answer. Okay, so maybe maybe it's uh it, maybe it's too Quite difficult. Oh, 저는 영화를 보는데 yes, 저는 영화를 보는데 언니가 방해요. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Oh, I feel happy. <laughs> I feel very happy. You guys are getting it right. So 보 because you put the base then first and then 는 and then 대 from 근데 right. 저는 영화를 보는데 언니가 방해요. 아, oh, so I'm watching a movie, but my sister is interrupting. My sister interrupts. And, ooh, okay. So this is quite a tricky one. This is quite a tricky one. So, 재미있어요 and 맛있어요. So remember I told you guys to take note of the is a part, is a part in these two adjectives. And the in the previous uh, sentences that we did. There's a reason, and you're gonna uh, figure it out soon. So can you guys try combining these two? 재밌어요 근데 and 맛있어요 근데. 재미있는데, oh yes! Oh wow, Alexandria, yes, you're getting it, yes. How did you know? 이, 이 영화는 재미있는데 너무 길어요, yes, yes. Yes, guys. So, 재미있어요 comes from 재미있다, which is an adjective, right? Adjective. So, you, uh, this is a part where, this is the part where it gets kind of confusing. So, it's an adjective. So, it seems like we have to follow this rule. So, it seems like we have to say 재미있는데, 재미있는데. However, it's 재미있는데. 
재미있는데. Oh, but why does it follow the rule in the verb? 재미있다 is an adjective, right? Yes, uh, but every word that contains 있다, we treat it like a verb. So it's a, it's, it's, uh, how do you say? It's a... Um, so it's a fixed knowledge, it's a fixed rule that we treat ita as a verb in rules. So that's why even if temi ita is an adjective, if it's an adjective that contains ita, it should follow the rule of the verb. So that's why you should say temi innde. So the same with bashi soyo kunde. Now you guys know how to combine them to com combine these two, right? Mashin Yes, you'll. Yes, yes. Okay. Why are you guys laughing? I want to know. I want to know what's happening. <laughs> I don't want to feel left out. Um. Uh, anyways, but um. Yes. So you guys get it, right? So even if um. Oh, so here I wrote it here. And adjectives whose stem comes from verb words. So the main examples are 재미있다, right? Or the opposite meaning 재미없다. And, you know, uh, 맛있다. And 맛없다. They're all adjectives, but they all, they're all, uh, they all follow the verb rule because their stem, 있다, 없다, comes from verb words right okay so oh and that is not the end guys that is not the end let's try to practice combining these as well means home right 집에 가고 싶어요. So actually, we. Oh, sorry. We actually <coughs> learned about learned this expression previously. When you say verb, the stem 고 싶어요, it means I want to verb, right? I want to verb. 저는 집에 가고 싶어요. 근데 아직 3시예요. Yes, Math Quarter. It's 싶은데, 싶은데. So some of you might be confused because, hey, 싶어요 is want, isn't it? So shouldn't we follow the verb? Uh, however, uh, it's translated as verb in English. However, 싶어요 itself means uh, uh, 싶어요. Uh, it's, it's an adjective, actually. It's an adjective that means the feeling of want. To, to feel want. Uh, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but 싶어요 is treated like an adjective. So that's why it's 싶은데, not 싶는데, 싶은데. So 저는 집에 가, 집에 가고, 집에 가고 싶은데, 제 집에 가고 싶은데. So 싶다 comes from, I mean, sorry, 싶어요 comes from 싶다. So you take out the stem and put in and te because this one has patim, right? So, 싶은데, 싶은데, 저는 집에 가고 싶은데, 아직 3시예요. 아직 means yet. 3시 means 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 아직 3시 is. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock yet. I want to go home, but it's. Oh, wait. 아직 3시예요. 아직 3시예요. Oh, sorry, guys. 아직. Um, so we learned another word for 아직, right? 아직. I mean, we learned another word for yet. 아직 3시예요. So here, it's more correct to translate it. Still. It's still 3 o'clock. I want to go home, but it's still 3 o'clock. Didn't we just learn the word that means yet in Korean? Another word? Other than 아직, do you guys remember what that was? Uh, because there is one, 
specific thing about the word adik that I want to explain to you guys. Uh, I, I forgot. I don't know what it what it is. I can't remember what it was. Uh, okay. So sorry, guys. But, uh, so adik can mean yet, and it can also mean still. So when you say adik. An verb, which is a negation of the verb, it means yet. So, 아직 안 했어요 means I didn't do it yet. But if 아직 is used with the positive verb, then it means it's still verb. So here, 에요 means is, right? It's not negation. It's a positive verb that means is. So it's still 3 o'clock. So 아직 has two meanings and two different usages. And how about these two? 배고, oh, you guys are already giving answers. 저는 배고픈데, yes, 배고픈데. Because hungry, 배가 고파요, means hungry, to be hungry. And it's an adjective, right? So you have to follow the 니은 받침 대 rule. So let's just write it. Let's write the full vocabulary here, just in case some of you don't know. Actually, most of you, uh, it's okay not to know this word. Uh, that's why I'm giving explanation, right? <laughs> so, uh, 배가 고프다 means, 배 has a lot of meanings, but it also means stomach. 배가 고프다. 고프다 means hungry, or like to want to have something. So, 배가 고프다 means like, my stomach is hungry. So, you put, uh, you take the stem, 고프, and put 니은 받침 and 배, right? That's how it became 고픈데. 저는 배가 고픈데 집에 음식이 없어요. At home, 음식, food이 없어요. There isn't, there is no food. 저는 여행을 좋아, 좋아, 좋아. Can you guys try to uh, uh, combine these two? 좋아, 좋아, 좋아. Ha, right? Stem. Chua ha. Chua ha. And chua ha is a verb that means like, so you have to put nun, right? Nun. Chua ha nun te. Chua ha nun te. 저는 여행을 좋아하는데 돈이 없어요. 여행. 여행 means travel. And to uh, a means to like, right? So I like travel, 는데, but 돈이 없어요. 돈 means money, 이 없어요 means to not have, right? I like traveling, but I don't have money. 저는 여행을 좋아하는데 돈이 없어요. Oh, sorry, guys, about the focus. Okay, let's. Okay, now it's focused. Uh, 저는 한국어가 좋아요. 근데 너무 어려워요. 저는 한국어가 좋아요. 근데 너무 어려워요. So here, uh, here comes another tricky part, guys. So we learned the difference in, in one of my videos. We learned the difference between 을 좋아하다, 을을 좋아하다, and 이가 좋다. We learned about the difference, right? So day two has both have the meaning of verb, which is to like, right? So chuaheo means to like, and when you say something ka chuaheo, it also can be translated as I like Korean, right? However, chuaheo, although it means verb here, chuaheo actually comes from the adjective chuaheo, right? Chuayo is initially an adjective that means to be good. So, chuayo should be treated like an adjective and thereby should follow the adjective rule. So, in that case, we all know how to translate it, right? I mean, not like translate. We all know how to combine it. Chu and te. 저는 한국어가 좋은데, 좋은데, 좋은데. 너무 어려워요. Too hard. 
Oh, what's wrong with the focus? Okay. Sorry, guys, about that. <laughs> 저는 한국어가 좋은데 너무 어려워요. I like Korean, but it's too hard. Okay, so I hope that you, many of you, got it. Okay, so are you guys following well? Can I get a can I get a yes on the on the live chat if you if you mean it, of course. <laughs> can I get a yes? And then I will uh, resume the lesson. And next one is how to make conjunction in past stem. In the meantime, I'm going to take another sip of my tea. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys for the flood of yes. So not everybody's commenting yes, and I understand that. It's not a very easy, you know, part of the grammar. I don't understand. I came late. Oh, Vivian. Oh, it's okay. I will I will save the whole class and it will be uploaded. The full class will be uploaded. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for typing yes. It gives me a lot of encouragement. So let's move on to the next part. Wow, it's it's my first time doing live class for about two hours. I think it's gonna be more than two hours. Um, but for some reason, uh, I don't feel tired. <laughs> it's because of you guys. Okay, because you guys are following very well. Um, so like I told you guys, we're gonna move on to the past tense, past tense. And from past tense, it gets easier because both adjective and verb follow the same rule. Follow the same rule. So here, you, you put 는데. Both in adjective and verb in past form, you put 는데. 는데. So, 제프는 예전에 성격이 좋았는데 요즘에는 별로예요. 제프는 예전에, Jeff, 예전에 so I intentionally try to like repeat the words, like I put lots of same words that we did before over and over again so that you guys can review. So 예전에, because repetition really helps when it comes to like memorizing vocabularies, right? So 예전에 means previously, previously. 전, I don't know if you guys remember, but 전 is actually a sign of Korean word that means before, right? And fu means after, right? So if you remember that that stem, it's easy to remember. 예전에 previously 제프는 previously 성격이 좋았는데 요즘에는 별로예요. 성격이 좋았는데 성격이 좋았는데. So this is obviously a combination of 좋았다 and 그런데, right? 좋았다 and 그런데. So what is good? But, right? 성격이 좋았는데, personality was good. 제프는 예전에 성격이 좋았는데, so we can see here that it follow the 는데, well, right? 는데, not 은데, because it's past form. 성격이 좋았는데, his personality used to be good, but 요즘에는, recently, right? 요즘에는 별로예요, 별로예요. So, 별로 is an adverb and it's also a noun that has a meaning of not that good. Like, it's something I'm not really fond of It's or like not, not that much. It kind of has that meaning. So, recently, 별로예요, it's not that good. You know, Jeb used to be really good, but not anymore. It, it kind of means that. And, uh... Oh, thank you guys. I just checked the comment section and you guys are flooding it with a lot of encouragement and compliments. Thank you very, 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 very much. And uh, yes, Matt Cordy, 오전 and 오후. Yes, 오전, 전 means the, the day, day. Um, so day as in day and night, right? 오전 means morning time around like 10 a.m. to 
no more like 9 a.m to 11 a.m it's uton and ufu is like from 1 p.m to 5 p.m or 6 p.m and then after that is evening which is tonyok right and then after that it's pam which is night pam ujeon ufu tonyok pam so that's how you can remember it uh, moving on to the next sentence 어제 사람이 많았는데 오늘은 적네요 there were many people yesterday but today there are less people oh okay that's that's a perfect translation math query 어제 yesterday 사람 so uh, when we say there are many people in korean we don't necessarily make 사람 into a plural form although it's not wrong to say it like that so it's not wrong to say 사람들이 많았는데 it's not wrong but we more tend to go with just 사람 to mean people so 어제 사람이 많았는데 so 많았 is obviously a past form of 많다 which means to be many right so person people a lot people was a lot there were a lot of people but 오늘은 적네요 적네요 okay so guys i brought a different sentence ending here which is 네요 uh, i'm sure that some of you guys have heard of this sentence ending so if you end the sentence with 네요 it's kind of uh it's kind of reporting how you what you observed reporting the result or maybe the report the word report might sound a bit serious but it's basically saying what you observed so this uh there being a lot of people yesterday and not many today is what this person observed right so that's why you can end the sentence with 네요 오늘은 적네요 오늘은 적네요 and 적 comes from the adjective 적다 적다 which means to be small in quantity which means to be small in quantity like less so there yesterday there were a lot of people but today there are not that many people 오늘은 적네요 so 작다 just in case you guys are confused 작다 means to be small and 적다 means to be small in quantity like takta means to be small in size and takta small in quantity in number and 내일 날씨가 더울 건데 이거 입으려고요 내일 날씨가 더울 건데 이거 입으려고요 actually this sentence kind of sounds awkward so uh, everybody will understand what you mean if you say this so, and I think now we can guess what this means as well. So, 내일 날씨가, 날씨 means weather. 날씨가 더울 건데. So, 덥다, I don't, uh, maybe it was a bad idea to bring this sentence because there are a lot, a lot to explain about this, but uh, let's try. So, 더울 comes from 덥다. So, we learn that piup batim irregular verbs are conjugated like to wo, right? We put wo after deleting piup, right? Uh, but we also learned that an adjective can take two forms, right? When it's in verb form and when it's in modifying form. In modifying form, it also follows a different rule. So in most in like many uh adjectives when it becomes a modifier usually 니은 받침 is placed so you can say 예쁜 여자 to mean pretty woman or you can also say uh what other adverbs are there um i mean adjectives are there Uh, oh, banta. You can say man un. 
So if an uh, adjective has no patjin, you can place niun and make it into a modifier. And if the adjective doesn't end in patjin, you can put un to make it into a modifier. So when you say banen saram, it means many people. They both become modifier. However, for verbs or adjectives that have piu patjin, or actually uh, only the adjectives, for adjectives that have piu patjin. It doesn't follow the regular rule. You have to say, or well maybe it's not very visible to you guys, to un, to un, to un. So, uh, okay, guys, uh, I give up. Sorry, <laughs> I should not have brought this sentence. Actually, it's it's a bit more like there's a lot more to explain. So I'm just going to do it another time for this sentence, right? And it's not really that important. Don't worry about it, guys. Because as you can see here, uh, future stem combined with the conjunction 그런데 and 근데 are not very used, very much used. So you don't have to really understand it for now. So we're, we're going to skip it. Okay? Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, okay, so this is the last part of the sentence that we're going to practice with 그런데 and 근데 그런데 and 근데 So, 열심히 공부했는데 시험을 망쳤어요 열심히 공부했는데 시험을 망쳤어요. So for here, 공부했는데 is the present verb of 공부. I mean, sorry, past verb of 공부. I'm sorry, guys. Wow, it's been two hours, and I think I am running out of energy. I think that's why uh, it's hard, hard for me to kind of focus. Oh, 무리하지 마세요. Oh, wow, you. I've, I'm kind of impressed that you know that word. 무리하지 마세요. Thank you. Um, okay, so how far are we? Okay, we're actually almost done. So I think in about um, 30, less than 30 minutes, uh, the whole class will be over. The whole class that I brought, I mean the whole materials that I brought. Um, uh, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am drawing a blank. Sorry. Okay, let, let me take a, take one more sip of water and then I'm gonna resume. But don't worry about it, we have time. I think in about 30 minutes, uh, it can be finished. Like we can cover everything that we brought, that I brought, so. All right. 열심히 공부했는데 시험을 망쳤어요. So 공부하다. 공부했 comes from 공부하다, which means to study, right? So this is a past verb. Studied, 열심히, comes from hard. I mean, sorry, not, it doesn't come from hard. It means hard. What is wrong with you, Miss Vicky? <laughs> 열심히 공부했는데. So I studied hard, right? I studied hard. <laughs> Rose is 33. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me get some words of encouragement from the comment section. Flight Deck Magazine, thank you. Thank you guys for the encouragement. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. 숙제가 있을까요? Uh, there will not be homework. Unfortunately, there won't be homework, but I will upload this whole um, review note uh, tomorrow morning. The first thing I get up tomorrow, I'm gonna upload this. Uh, but let's continue with our lesson. I am uh, a bit more energized now. So I studied hard, but, but, 시험을 망쳤어요. 시험을 망쳤어요. So this is also a commonly used expression. 망, 망치다. 망치다. Means to ruin, to spoil something. So when you say you spoiled, you 망치다, your exam, it means you didn't, you did a terrible job on your test. So 시험을 망쳤어요, it's obviously a past form. 시험을 망쳤어요, I ruined the test. I studied very hard, but I ruined the test. 
So this one follows this rule, right? Past stem and then nunde, nunde, right? So actually, I think I kind of scared many of you guys off a bit, but the, the only confusing part about kronde and kunde becoming conjunction is only this part, an adjective. When it's an adjective in present form, it follows a different rule, but the rest of the tenses follow the same rule. So this is something that you guys can use, can get used to. And other than that, it's not that difficult, right? And, oh, 실패하네요. Uh, 실패. So 실패하다 and um, 망치다 means different thing. So I know that in English, when you say, I didn't pass the test, you guys say, I failed the test. But 실패하다, the word 실패하다, although it's translated as fail in Korean, doesn't mean to fail at a test. It means to fail in general. Like my business failed, um, my effort failed, my relationship failed, like things like that. That kind of real failure rather than failing at a test. So these two are different words. And 저는 안갈 거예요. 그런데 엄마는 갈 거예요. So again, this is another future stem that is not very much often with the 는데 conjunction, but here it doesn't sound that weird. So we're gonna just practice with practice. So this is not that hard. So you just put future stem. So 가 comes from 가다, right? Which means to go. And obviously, by looking at 갈 거예요, it's a future form, right? So I not will go. So I won't go. I won't go. But 엄마는 갈 거예요. And how you can conjugate, I mean, how you can combine these two is you put future stem and then 니은 마침 and then 대. So the future stem is this part, right? 저는 안갈 거, 안갈 거, 안갈 거. And then you put 니은 마침. 저는 안갈 건, 안갈 건데, 안갈 건데, 저는 안갈 건데. <웃음> 엄마는 갈 거예요. Mom will go, right? 저는 안갈 건데. There's something wrong with the focus, the autofocus. Mm. Mom will go. I won't go, but my mom will go. And the last sentence. 저는 많이 먹는데 지수는 조금 먹어요. 저는 많이 먹는데 지수는 조금 먹어요. 많이 means a lot, right? We learned this word. 저는 많이 먹는데. Oh, so you guys can notice if you are, if you've been paying attention, you guys would have realized that banta is a base adjective that means to be many. And man un means, an, it's an adjective that means many, right? So many people. Man un saram. And you, when you say man e, it becomes an, it becomes an adverb that means a lot. So these, all these two have the same, the same stem. And when you put E after man, it becomes an adverb. 저는 많이 먹는데, 먹, 먹, 먹. So yes, yes, you guys are correct. I eat a lot, but Jisoo eats less. Uh, it's eat, eat. It's eat because it's in present form, right? If it's in, 먹었는데, then it means ate, right? But it's in present form. Present form, base stem, right? Base stem combined with 는데. And in that case, it's present form. So I eat a lot, but 는데, 나는 많이 먹는데, 지수는 조금 먹어요. 지수는 조금 먹어요. So 조금 and 많이 has the opposite meaning. 조금 means less or a little, a little, 조금 먹어요. 
So 저는 많이 먹는데 can also mean um, I'm a big eater. I eat a lot usually. Like so. So yeah, it has that kind of meaning. When you want to say I am a big eater, you can say 어 저는 많이 먹어요. 저 되게 많이 먹어요. You can say it like that. Okay. Okay. Wow. So wow. Could you guys give me a round of applause? <laughs> We're finishing uh, this this whole sentence connectors. Actually, it's not over, but we just um, so. Uh, we, we're done with the hardest part. We're done with the most challenging parts. So, wow, it makes me feel so 시원해, 시원해. You guys remember 시원해, 시원해? I feel so 시원해. Whew. Okay, so the only thing that we have left is 근데, meaning different thing. And this doesn't take a lot of time. And Corona as well, it's not going to take a lot of time because it's not really used that much in spoken sentence. Oh, thank you, guys. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. You, you had a great question. 저는 많이 먹는데 지수 조금밖에 안 먹어요. 지수는 조금밖에 안 먹어요. Yes, that is also a very good sentence. I'm surprised that you know that expression, 밖에. And that's really good. And thank you guys, thank you guys for the encouragement. Oh, okay, so so yes, let's finish off with, not finish off, let's uh, do two more and then we're really going to end the class. <laughs> thank you, you guys, as well. All of you guys, Oh, now let's move on to 근데, meaning different thing. So, we just learned that 근데 means but, but it can also mean by the way. So this is not a sentence, uh, this is not a sentence connector, but more like a sentence starter. So you say this before a sentence. So when you are saying something out of the blue, or you just remember something, you, so you want to uh, say it to the other person, or you want to break the silence. So well, let's look at the written note. So when you say 근데 저 부탁 하나 해도 돼요? So we're not going to translate every single sentence here, but we're just going to look at how 근데 is used. 근데 저 부탁 하나 해도 돼요? 저 부탁 하나 해요, 해도 돼요? It means can I ask you a favor? 근데. So by using 근데, you can you can guess that the speaker was in a situation where uh, they weren't necessarily having a conversation about asking for a favor, right? They're not having a conversation. Uh, so by using 근데, you're kind of changing the topic, right? Oh, by the way, can I ask you something? Can I ask you a favor? It kind of means that. 근데 나 핸드폰 좀 빌려줄 수 있어? 근데 나 핸드폰 좀 빌려줄 수 있어? Can I, can you, can I borrow your cell phone? Can I borrow your cell phone? By the way, 근데, so, and you can also say, 근데, 여기 진짜 예쁘다. So maybe you guys were traveling, and then all of a sudden, you are suddenly so moved and uh, excited about the view of the place you're at currently. Then you can say, oh, 근데, oh, by the way, I know that it's off topic. 근데, 여기 진짜 예쁘다. Here, really pretty. I really like this place. It's really beautiful here. So that's why it means. Atam. Can we use that? Forgot the right spelling. Oh, um, so Alexandria posed a really interesting and good question. Atam. So atam is kind of different from kunde in that you use it when you just remember something, only when you just remember something. Like, 아 참, 오늘 네 생일이었지? Oh, like, it was your birthday, like, I've been forgetting about it. Or, 아 참, 나 핸드폰 두고 왔다, 나 핸드폰 두고 왔다. 나 핸드폰, cell phone, 두고 왔어. 나 핸드폰 두고 왔어. Oh, I forgot, I, I, I left my cell phone somewhere. That kind of situation, but 근데 is more like, it's more used uh, when you are about to say something that is not like really consistent 
with the context of the conversation you are already engaged in or when you are about to say something that's kind of out of the blue or kind of off topic or when everyone was silent and you kind of want to say something, that's when you can use it. 근데, 근데. Or actually, 아참 can also be used like that too. Like, uh, 아참. Oh, so one more thing, guys. What you can do with 아참 is you can say 아참 and then ask a question. And by saying 아참 before a question, it indicates that you were about you were kind of planning to ask that question, but you just remembered it. So that's when you can use 아참, 아참. If you don't mind, 근데, can it be used this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't mind, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't mind is another way to put 근데 as well, but not all. It has other meanings too like this and um, yes that's how you can use 근데 and really our last sentence connector which is 그러나 so 그러나 is not very important because you will not be using the sentence connector in a spoken sentence so I listed a level of formality in the order of how serious the sentence connector sounds. So 그러나 sounds the most serious. And then it's 하지만 and 그렇지만. And then it's 그런데 and 근데. So this sounds the most casual, but it doesn't mean it sounds rude. It's just that it's less serious and it's less casual and it's more natural than the rest of the sentence connector. So this is the most commonly used one. Uh, Biki Sam, aren't you sleepy? It's 2 a.m. there. You must be tired. Uh, I think I will feel very tired after I uh, finish the stream. But right now, I'm not that tired, but it's maybe because I'm kind of nervous. Y you know, when you feel very nervous, you don't really feel the tiredness. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I think it's that. But um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to feel really tired after this. But this is the last one. So 그러나 is a but in a very formal sentence and it's usually used in writing. So I brought these two um, example sentences. So do you guys remember from one of my sentence making practice videos where in written form, like when you are writing an article, a newspaper article or a diary or a monologue or like writing in general, there is a different form and it usually ends in ta. Do you remember? So by looking at the sentence ending, you can notice that these are the written form. So these are either from a book or I don't know, quotes, documentary, textbooks, and so on. Uh, so 소는 초식 동물이다. 그러나 호랑이는 육식 동물이다. 초는 소식 동물이다. So from here, uh, if you know the sentence ending, this sentence ending in 그러나 being used, you can immediately feel that, oh, maybe Vicky brought this sentence from a book or from a documentary or from like an article because it sounds kind of formal, very formal, not like polite formal, but more like serious formal, more like used in writing. So 초식, 소는 초식 동물이다. 소 means cow. And 호랑이 means doctor. I mean, sorry, it's not a doctor. <laughs> Where did that come from? 호랑이 means tiger. Cow, 소는 초식 동물이다. 초식 동물. So 초식 동물 and 육식 동물 mean different thing. So 동물 means an animal. And 육식 means, so 육 comes from the Sino-Korean word uh, that means meat and meat sit means to eat so meat eating animal and 초식 동물 초 comes from the Chinese uh, it, it comes from one of the Chinese word 草 was it? no 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 oh but it, it's, it's, a, it's a sign of Korean word that means grass so it's grass eating 
a vegetarian, right? Chosik, not a vegetarian. So it's a carnivore, and there's an English word for chosik. Could you guys help me out? Chosik, chosik. It's not vegetarian, <laughs> but um, for animal, it's not it's not carnivore because ca carnivore is meat eating animal, and omnivore is both meat and vegetable eating animals. Uh, 초식 동물, omnivore and herbivore. Yes, yes, herbivore. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yes, thank you, Yul. You, you're helping me a lot today. Herbivore. Herbivore. Is that the right pronunciation, though? Herbivore. Am I pronouncing it right? But 초식 동물 means herbivore, and 육식 동물 means carnivore. Yes, yes, guys. So these two are good words. To remember, 초식 동물 and 육식 동물. And 그러나 is you. So I brought this actually from a a textbook, a textbook, a middle school student textbook. And also, this is from a newspaper article. 문 대통령은 최선을 다했다. 그러나 계약이 성사되지 못했다. It's kind of an advanced level sentence. So. I'm going to skip the explanation of the translation. Uh, however, you can know that 그러나 is used, right? So, uh, let's just translate this one. 문 대통령은 최선을 다했다. 문 대통령은 최선을 다했다. So, uh, do you guys know the name of the president in Korea? His name is 문 재인. His name is 문 재인. Moon is his last name, and Tae In is his uh, first name. Uh, I mean, so, so Moon is his surname, right? So Moon De Tongyang means President Moon. President Moon, un, 최선을 다했다. 최선을 다했다. So this is also a good vocabulary for you guys to note. So 최선을 다하다. 최선을 다해라 means to do one's best. To do one's best. 최선을 다하다. So 최선을 다했다 means did his best. So President Moon did his best, but blah, 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 blah. The rest of the sentence, right? Uh, so uh, it's not really important to learn how to make it into conjunction, but it doesn't hurt to learn that, right? So base them, and then you just put da. Whatever the stem is, you just put da, and for past stem, you can you can put u extra u, and it's it makes sense if you think of the form of the past tense. It's usually, I mean, uh, all the time it has sangshi patim, right? So since it has patim, you put extra u to make it more easily pronounceable. So that's why u na is used. So here. You can place the stem and then put da. So, 초는 초식 동물이나 호랑이는 육식 동물이다. It still sounds very formal, like writing, like book formal. And then, 문 대통령은 최선을 다했다. 그러나, and also, following the rule that we just learned, 다 했으나, 다 했으나. 계약이 성사되지 못했다. So that's how you can use it. Okay, wow. So, so that's it. That's really it, guys. Okay, so I'm very uh, happy that I was able to uh, finish, uh, do all the, all the sentences that I brought and do all the content that I brought to teach you guys. Uh, okay, so I'm checking. So that's it for today's lesson, guys. And I'm checking the comments that I missed. Uh, what is your Korean name? What is your Korean name, Miss Vicky? Oh, my Korean name is Shim Hyojong. So Shim is my surname, and Hyojong, Hyojong is my 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 first name. It's my given name. And. Uh, Comments that I missed. Six, eight, four before. 
Okay, so um, okay, so that's it for today's lesson. And thank you so much, guys, for joining. I think I said it many times today, right? Thank you for joining, but I really mean it every time. And wow, it feels very shiwane. I still feel very shiwane. Oh, it feels so shiwane. It's been two hours and a half, maybe like 20 minutes, two hours and 20 minutes. And I think it was worth it, right? And so I'm very happy, very, very happy. I think I can have a good night's sleep. Uh, and thank you all so much for joining. And I will see you in another live class, guys. And oh, and uh, the first thing I get up in the morning, I will upload the this this review note in the community post. Or if you are my patron, I will give you. Oh, oh, 교포, oh, 교포 선생님, 제가 아는 교포 선생님인가? I I know you. Oh my God, you're famous. Oh my God, thank you so much. Hi. 교포 선생님 알리 안녕하세요 여러분 uh, everyone say hi to 교포 선생님 uh, he's also a youtuber and he's a great teacher I, uh, he teaches English and he's an awesome teacher thank you so much wow <laughs> wow thank you what a nice way to end the lesson thank you for the gift thank you for the super chat gift too <laughs> okay so thank you so much I hope we could do like uh, collaboration together. It, that would be really awesome. I will think about the content idea, but maybe I'm I'm like like 김치국 마시는 거 아니에요, 제가? But he's not answering. What I hope he's hearing what I'm saying. Oh, but uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining. Thank you, thank you. And um, yes, like I said, first thing in the morning, I wake up tomorrow, I will upload this. And I will see you in the next lesson. Bye bye. If you are at a time zone where it's night time, uh, good night to you all. And thank you for staying uh, late with me, even if it's really late. Uh, and I will see you in the next next lesson. Oh, good morning. I will email you. I'll definitely email you. Thank you. So, <laughs> bye guys, bye, bye. Bye.